The scope of computer science is much wider than you might imagine. It can interact with a vast range of disciplines such as life sciences, engineering and history. For me, the latter drew my attention to the subject because of the potential to bring human history to life. It's exactly what Roman archaeologist Professor William Bowden did in conjunction with staff from the School of Computer Science at the University of Nottingham. They began a research programme to develop an app that provided an immersive experience at the old Roman town of Caister. Venta Isonorum was the regional Roman capital of the Iceni territory and is found on undisturbed open grazing land where there's no visitor centre or any visible ruins. In order to create this app, some factors need to be considered first. For example, the mobile coverage in the area is unreliable, so the app needed to be self-contained and not relying on an internet connection. Similar to the way VR headsets work now, the app needed to work within a set boundary, which is chosen to be the Forum Insula within the central plaza, where the most reliable historical data is found. The app has limited processing power, thus it is necessary to use square structures to save resources during rendering. Similarly, the scale had to be considered. It was originally conceived to have a winter and a summer mode for the app, however, the timescale for this project was not great enough. So how does the app work? It is designed to guide users to the site by GPS, and then alerts them when they've reached the south gate. Using AR Kit and AR Core, the app locks onto the environment to then display the appropriate render. This locking on was disguised from the user by having them scan the ground for artifacts to learn about whilst exploring. When the user has found all five artifacts, the whole form is then rendered. The user is then led around by a virtual guide, providing the users a story and also giving them an opportunity to search the area for points of interest to learn more about. This paper was written to assess what the app does, how it does it and its successes. Users encounter multiple errors such as crashing or missing events and features. However, the qualitative research results from the users was almost entirely positive. Software developers identified solutions to the errors such as making it clear when events should have started or fixes to the geolocation software that provided users with the most disorientating problems to avoid ruining immersion. They also posited future additions to the software, such as extending the 3D environment, more introductory context when the story begins, and developing a photographic aspect to take a picture of yourself in the augmented reality. If developing software to bring different disciplines to life in augmented reality interests you, then the University of Nottingham and the School of Computer Science provides a brilliant starting point to develop your interests.